Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Outlaw Eco Build, how to build your own earth bag house. Uh, I'm Constance and today we, I and Nick, are going to give you a little bit of information about ourselves and what we're doing here and how we ended up here and where we are today. We're going to do a full house tour. This is the first time we've put the full house out there on the internet. Um, so yeah, here we go. We bought this piece of land here in the southwest of Portugal together two years ago, three years ago. We bought it in 2019 and it was our plan to build our own home here. Um, it took us a little while to figure out how we were going to do that. We had been living in two converted trucks and we considered wooden houses and tiny houses and even uh, container houses and this kind of stuff but we were really into some kind of alternate way to build some kind of eco-friendly budget friendly um, option that we could do ourselves that's what was really important to us so we finally decided on an earth bag house it was out there and it was brave because we have no experience how to do this although nick is um, in construction and very handy he can weld and uh, do carpentry and all that kind of stuff um, i am a tattooer so i i used my skills where i could to design the house um, and to give it that finished look after nick did the construction so it turned out to be a perfect mix in the end for us at least so yeah that's where we are today the house is completed as you've seen in the other episodes we are building an extension now for our eldest son and here we go welcome to the outlaw house hi guys happy sunday welcome to episode four of outlaw eco build uh this week we have been pretty much just laying a lot of bags so instead of showing you all the technical details of the bag laying, this week we're going to give you a tour of the house. Nick and I already built this house last year. It took us about six months to build the whole house. Um, we are here in the southwest of Portugal where we bought this other piece of land. Um, and yeah, we built this earth bag house. So I am going to show you around now. So this is our kitchen and dining room. Uh, Nick built almost everything in here. Our dining table there is built of recycled or upcycled mahogany doors that Nick has hoarded for years and then made into a nice table for us. And over here we have our, I wanted a Belfast sink and Nick met me in the middle and poured this concrete sink for me. And yeah, we have a cooker, a white sauce. There are a few things that are not finished yet. The cupboard doors are one of them, but we will eventually build some nice fine farmhouse style doors. And in here is our bedroom. This is my favorite room in the house. Nick hates it. He said it looks like a magazine cover, uh, but it makes me very happy. <laughs> And if you follow me, I take you to the living room. Here's Bruno, everybody's favourite dog. And this is Nick's masterpiece in the house. This is our thermal mass wood burner. Our the burner is here, the wood and the fire goes inside here. And the idea is that the rest of this is building up heat and stays warm even after the fire's gone out. So this still needs to be covered in a cob render, which is the same as what's on the walls, and then finished with a lime render, which is what you can see here. But we can't do that while the fire was on, so we were waiting until after the winter. Now it's July, so we could probably do that soon enough. <laughs> uh, and through here we have uh, the entrance to the conservatory um, and the kids' room. In a good mood. And uh, this is the boys' room. We call this the truck. This box, this that you can see here, used to be on the back of that beauty there. And it was such a good space and already well insulated and very sentimental to the boys. It was Santosh's 
home his entire life that we decided to take it down and build it into the house. Come on in. So this is the boys' truck, and these are the boys. Uh, this is a temporary accommodation for them because soon this is going to make two bedrooms for small and medium and big has his own bedroom here which is what we've been showing you during the episodes so here we have the yeah, lowest room we are about halfway up on the walls now the next phase is to put in some forms for some windows to build this up to the top and the roof but you're going to see that in episode two uh, there are a few more things we want to show you sauna and shower you can see uh, the showers built into the roof there and here's another one of Nick's masterpieces our wood burning sauna stove which as you can imagine in the south of Portugal doesn't get as much action as you might have hoped um, and the water from the shower there is feeding the reed bed here and in there is our compost toilet Very personal today. Should we show the garden? Nah. Okay. Then that is our house. Stay tuned to see how this goes with Noah's room. Please like and subscribe. And uh, next week we're going to show you how to lay these earth bags and build your own earth bag house. So here is the front door. I'm going to give the phone to Nick now because he's refusing to be in the video with me. And he's going to film the rest of the 